Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. You know that song in the background there always reminds a lot of people about the 1990 coup. And I played it purposely. Well, of course, this week we get ready to commemorate on the 27th of July. However, we have with us this morning in studio artist by the name of Devante Monsano, who has been doing some interesting paintings after viewing the Code 727 documentary. Good morning to you, Devante. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the Now Morning Show. Thank you for having me. Thank you for loaning us your artwork for the week. I don't know if you tell you, but we're keeping it for the whole <laughs> week. <laughs> All right, so tell me how you got into, into art in the first place. Well, I've been doing art approximately professionally five years, mm -hmm. and I've been doing it from ever since. Since I was a little boy, I've been drawing behind my books, getting in trouble because dad always said, stop drawing behind your books and all <laughs> that. So I always had a passion for art, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, when you decide to take it seriously? I started to take it seriously when I finished school, and I was home for a period of time, and I never get peer pressure. And I said, dad, I think I want to be an artist, and he said, sure. And he has well helped me financial. You know, I turned my room into a studio, half studio bedroom, and yeah, I've been proper doing artist things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to get into that artist mood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice, interesting. Tell us about some of the works that you did. Uh, particularly, do you use acrylic, oil painting? Yes, I do. I use acrylic and charcoal. Mm -hmm. Yes, I find those medium works for me, and yeah, I like those medium. Are you self-taught or did you? Yeah. Did you? I am self-taught. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. I was reading as well, Devante, that you try to find a narrative sort of way to paint. Uh, yeah. Tell us about that. It helps with the flow as well as painting because it can be a little, it could be a hard process if you don't have something like to flow with. So working with a narrative helps, you know, illustrate that thing that you when want When you say to. working with a narrative, so you have a story before you start yeah. even painting anything? Definitely, because I always say that, oh, you know, the creative process starts from in the brains. Naturally. So in order to put it out, you have a process from the brains, and then you can be able to put it onto whatever surface. You know, one of those artists that paint based on feeling? Um, you think about everything you paint? Yeah, it depends. You know, feelings, fe feelings is more deep. Right. Yeah, so it depends. Nice. All right. Well, I'm very interested in this series yeah. that you have up in studio with us um, because I understand that it was all inspired by the documentary Code yes. 77. Because, I mean, Based on looking at you, you're a little too young to be around when the coup was happening, right? So you wasn't there to see it live, but you saw the documentary. I saw the documentary. How, how did the documentary impact you in the initial stages? Well, being an individual in society, um, you can see that you know anybody could have been in that situation at that given time. Mm -hmm. It could have been my father, my great-grandfather. So I was definitely moved by the police officers and what they went through. And not only the officers, but the officers' family as well, because, you know, these humans as well. And their role, I really value their role as officers after watching this documentary. Yeah. Let's get into some of the pieces, Devante. The one right behind you, very, very interesting piece. Can you tell us about it, the name yeah. of it, and what sort of story you were trying to tell with this one? So, this this piece in particular is David and Goliath. Mm. It's, as, it's as well inspired by the officers and their duty and the flag symbolized their duty to uphold the country and how um, important it is, not just, yeah. sorry, mm -hmm. how important it is as for the, not just the officers, but individuals in society as well to uphold the country. So that's why the flag is mm. holding to the, to the top and the officers on them. The different character illustrated is just to illustrate the frustration yeah. that the officers and them went through. Nice. And it seems like a mixed medium in terms of charcoal and paint. And yeah? acrylic, and yeah. Paint. This is the old police headquarters? That is the old... But it's in red. What was the, what was the reason for well, that? Well, that is just a more a distort like for the building, what the building went through. Because, yeah. you know, they... It are, was firebombed. Yeah, they, are, they also believe that the building is their, their mother hen, right? So the building as well, illustrating that the pain it went through as well yeah and nice. it shows history as well i see a lot of looting in this one tell right. us about this one behind me this piece was the second piece that i did for the body of work um it was an interesting piece because i was getting into the work mm. so when you say getting into the work tell us so getting into the work to say the first piece that i did i understand okay so the colors that i'll be using and the team so getting into the work as well with this piece I get I understand where I was going mm. with the body of work. So mm. this art piece here is one of my favorite 
And the reason why it was my favorite because from growing up small, the lutein is something that everyone, everybody around me talk about. Sure. They will say that, oh, you wasn't even born yet, and the excitement on their faces. So this piece was one of those pieces that I really, truly appreciate. What I'm very intrigued mm. by is the horses and all of them. Okay, so the horse symbolizes a lot of things. We have different horses. Mm -hmm. The black horse symbolizes empowerment. The white horse symbolizes a hero or death, right? And the horse also symbolizes frustration and certain things that in the air at that given time. How does the woman come into effect into all of this? Say that again? The woman, how does she come into play okay. into all of this? So this, this is also one of my favorite pieces. Mine too. It's entitled <laughs> I Am Woman. There's two pieces, the small one, and this is the master copy of the small one. This is a more insight of that piece. Mm. I Am Woman. I Am Woman is based on a police officer in this documentary as well, mm -hmm. and her, her story that she was told, she was telling, and it... It gives you more insight on her bravery. I wanted to pay um, homage to her bravery mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because as a woman in the police force as well, and her bravery was incredible. And as this piece say, it's not because I am trained or police, it's because I am holy. It's because of God's Holy Spirit that gave me the strength. Yeah. And it's not her words specifically, but it's specifically paying homage to her yeah. bravery and strength. But that was that was also part of her sentiment that she shared in the documentary, that you know it wasn't all about her training and her bravery. Yeah. It was God that helped mm -hmm. her at that point in time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I, one thing that the officers and them, you know, keep mentioning is that the relationship with God as well mm -hmm. at the given time. So that was very important to yeah. put out in, in Most definitely. All right, let me move on to the mm -hmm. next one. The one White horse. <laughs> so this one yeah. this one is a very powerful piece. Um, it's about Solomon McLeod. He was the officer, the first officer who died during the coup. Mm. And I wanted to really pay homage to Solomon McLeod and his duty. The name of this piece is I Ride For You. Mm. And it's Solomon himself saying that he ride for, you know, his country, his people, and his colleagues. What's and the, the white horse symbolized yeah. a hero. What's the significance of putting the, uh, that, that police logo next to the national flag? Um, well, you know... The flag, the flag and all the pieces on them symbolize something that we as individuals in society have to hold up a salute to, yeah. you know. Um, the important role that we have as individuals in society and that flag, I believe that flag will symbolize for his colleagues, you know, it would mean something to them that that is what they work for, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the people. The country. Mm -hmm. All right, Devonte. Very interesting, very interesting mm -hmm. collection of work that you have here, and I appreciate you sharing it with us. Before we wrap up, though, tell me about the Early Bird Creative. I understand that you're part of the Early Bird Creative. Okay, so Early Bird is an organization that helps youth as myself to reach their goals and their, their dreams. It's a bunch of creative and collectors. Alan Dyrus is one of the head creative, a good friend of mine who reached out to me and helped me ment help mentor me as well to reach the goals that I want and to accomplish. Nice. Nice. Can you tell us about some of the exhibitions, particularly the one you're doing at Central Bank? Okay, so Shades of My Shadow is an exhibition. It's based on the 1990 coup as well, and it has some really pretty, pretty interesting work that we did. We come together as creative, mm -hmm. a creative, and put this body of work, and it will be showing at Central Bank, and also... And the return now. Yeah. Um, we, I really appreciate you joining us this morning to share. Before we go, I'm just curious. You and your, and your, your fellow creatives and the early bird creatives, did you guys know about the coup before seeing the documentary? Um, well, I believe um, the individuals that introduced me to it, yeah. they know about it. Right. I had a fair information about it, but not so much after looking at the documentary. You got mm -hmm. a lot more after looking at the documentary. Mm -hmm. Nice, yeah. man. Well, Devonte, thank you so much for joining thank us and for lending us your work for the week. And of course, if you are interested in seeing Code 727, it's going to be showing right here on TTT on July 26th and 27th at 7.30 p.m. You do not want to miss it. But we're going to have Devante's work on with us all week so we can get some insight into it and take it in. And, you know, sometimes when we have it here for the whole week, we get to see things that we didn't see on the initial look. Yeah. So I look forward to how it's going to evolve for us over the week as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, the TTPS join us on now. Stay tuned.